Okay, let's be honest. This relationship is weird. It's just as weird as Jennifer Hudson's outfits, all right? I don't know if she wants to be Mary Poppins or she's in some type of Russian couture. Nothing matches with them. Not the outfits, not the direction of the camera they're looking at, or the musical choices. This is Keep an eye on this unfolding drama, as rapper Common is once again making waves. Known for his playboy reputation in Hollywood, Common seems to be living up to those rumors. Rumor has it that he's trying to win back his ex, Tiffany Haddish. If you're not up to speed, let me fill you in. Common's current girlfriend, Jennifer Hudson, is reportedly having doubts about their relationship due to Common's past. It's been said that she's ended things with him. However, Common is not willing to let go and is actively trying to reconcile with Tiffany. It looks like we're in for a showdown between Jennifer and Tiffany. He never gave me no damn earring. He probably gave us to Jenny. Tiffany Haddish's doubts about Common seem to have been validated as his relationship with Jennifer Hudson has encountered difficulties. Common didn't hesitate to reach out to Tiffany, imploring her to reconcile. What a messy situation. Tiffany clearly wasn't pleased with the speculation surrounding Common and Jennifer potentially getting together. She didn't wait for confirmation before throwing shade. I have to hand it to her. She was committed to her role as a critic. Tiffany couldn't resist pointing out that Common was a notorious player and that he was likely to break Jennifer's heart sooner or later. Tiffany had every reason to be cautious. She had been burned by Common not once, but twice. They first connected while working together on the movie, The Kitchen, and their relationship became quite intense. Tiffany was deeply invested and hoped for a serious commitment. However, Common surprised her by rekindling his romance with his ex, Angela Rye. Ouch. Tiffany was devastated. She had believed their connection was genuine. Despite the heartbreak, Tiffany didn't hold a grudge against Common. She was still enamored, but as the saying goes, once bitten, twice shy. Angela and Common's reconciliation hit a snag quickly. Angela desired to settle down and start a family, but Common, already a father, was not keen on having more children. Their differing aspirations spelled the end of their relationship, and they broke up after about five days. As soon as Common and Angela parted ways, Common wasted no time in seeking affection from Tiffany again. She didn't make him beg because by 2020, they had reunited and she was deeply in love. They tried to keep their relationship under wraps, but then the lockdown occurred, and they ended up quarantining together. Their attempt to maintain a sense of mystery quickly unraveled, and fans discovered they were dating. Before reuniting with Tiffany, Common had a history of unsuccessful relationships. However, many believed that he and Tiffany were well-suited, particularly since he stated that he had undergone therapy following his previous breakup with Angela Rye, aiming to improve as a partner. He even suggested that he might be willing to marry if he met the right woman. You want to be a husband one day. You have a, a rather famous relationship coach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yes, uh, Michelle Obama, she has definitely helped talk me through just certain moments of relationships. We had conversations and she has given me a lot of wisdom. But one great thing that, that she told me as I was going through this journey was that you have to understand you're not gonna get anybody that's perfect because you're not perfect. So understand that there's some certain things that you will compromise in, in, in choosing that partner. But long, as long as the, the core values, the values that are most important to you, that person you know, marks off on that list, and you good. She gave some good advice there. That's good wisdom. She gave some really good wisdom there. Tiffany invested her heart and soul into the relationship, holding on to the belief that Common was the one. Let's be honest here. It was evident to everyone that Tiffany was deeply in love with Common, much more than he appeared to be with her. I'm not trying to criticize Common because it's not like he went out of his way to mistreat Tiffany or anything like that. It was just clear that he wasn't returning the same level of affection that Tiffany was putting into the relationship. Even Stevie Wonder could see that Tiffany was far more committed than he was. Take Tiffany's 41st birthday, for example. She was brimming with excitement and couldn't stop talking about it. In one interview, she shared her birthday wish list saying, I'm just hoping me and my man, we go in hot air ballooning and have us a nice little meal. 
That's what I would like to do on my 39th birthday. I got drunk with my grandma, never done that before. And my 40th birthday, I had a bat mitzvah, and that was super fun. This birthday, 41, I want to go up in a hot air balloon. Either Common didn't pick up on the hint, or he simply didn't care. Not only did he skip the hot air balloon ride, but he also didn't plan anything special for Tiffany. All she received was a bouquet of flowers, and that was it. Talk about disappointing. But Tiffany, bless her heart, didn't quite grasp Common's signals that he was losing interest in the relationship. She kept insisting that everything was perfect between them. She even hinted at wanting a ring, and not just any diamond, but a whole apartment building as a proposal. I can put nothing extra on it. If you want to marry me, you can give me an apartment building. Oh, okay. No, no, okay. You don't want a ring, you want an apartment complex. <laughs> I'd give me a duplex, an a eightplex or something. You know, you know, the whole girl be like, where you I thought you was engaged, where you where your carrots, carrots. Girl, please, I got you. Tiffany remained incredibly optimistic about her relationship with Common, almost excessively so. Despite his underwhelming birthday gesture, she clung to the belief that he was the one. However, her expectations appeared unrealistic, particularly in light of Common's apparent lack of enthusiasm. While she envisioned grand romantic gestures, he expressed a preference for living in the moment rather than making long-term plans. Tiffany's hopeful outlook led her to anticipate a proposal, perhaps even with an entire apartment building as a gift in the near future. Unfortunately, Common's actions contradicted her hopes. He clearly indicated that he prioritized his own happiness and peace, ultimately leading to the demise of their relationship. Tiffany struggled to come to terms with this reality, holding on to the hope that Common would change his stance. Despite his attempts to attribute the breakup to their busy schedules, it was evident that their relationship had reached its natural conclusion. Once Tiffany and I got back on the move, it, it really, didn't allow for us to spend as much time and put as much energy into our relationship. I don't think the love really dispersed. I just think it was just like, we weren't feeding the relationship. He tried to position himself as the hero, but Tiffany was outspoken about the reality. She disclosed that he had shattered her heart, hinting that he might be someone who never truly commits, likening him to a bee flitting from flower to flower. Nonetheless, she wished him joy and happiness. I'll do what's good for, for me and the lady, <laughs> you know. Right now, all I want is happiness, good times, um, peace on earth. <laughs> the situation worsened when Common and Jennifer Hudson started dating after collaborating on the film Breathe. A source from the movie revealed they had been acquainted for years, intensifying Tiffany's heartbreak. Their relationship flourished during filming in Philadelphia over the summer. After each day's shoot, they found themselves drawn to each other. Initially, Jennifer tried to downplay the dating rumors, saying that people often invent their own stories. However, speculation grew when they were spotted on a date in Malibu after completing the movie. Confirmation of their romance came when he flew to London to support her musical, A Strange Loop, an insider revealed that there had been speculation for months, but their trip to London together made it clear they were a couple. Despite attending the show separately to avoid attention, they were seen together, confirming their relationship. While they initially didn't publicly confirm their relationship, the truth emerged when he appeared on her talk show. She directly asked him about their relationship, leading to the confirmation of their romantic involvement. Are you dating anyone? So, yes, and I'm in a relationship that is one of the most beautiful people I ever met in life. And she's, she's smart, she loves God, she got something real down to earth about her. Um, she's talented, but but I set, I set my standard kind of high because she had to have the EGOT. She, 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 she had to win an Oscar on her first movie. I set my standard high, she had to get her own talk show. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> the day after the interview, Tiffany appeared even more upset. She opened up about her relationship with Common, 
confessing that she was still hurt by his actions. She described their relationship as the healthiest and most enjoyable one she had ever experienced, where she felt safest compared to all her other relationships. However, the breakup was not mutual. It was more him saying, I think this relationship has run its course. While she was thinking, okay, you're going to be a 50-year-old single man, okay? Despite Tiffany's emotions, Common remained firm, asserting that he was deeply in love with Jennifer. However, rumors are now circulating that Jennifer is reconsidering the relationship, realizing the extent of Common's playboy reputation. Oh, that was a predictable turn of events. Common does have a history of relationships with high-profile women in the industry. In his interview with Jennifer, he mentioned being attracted to powerful women, and his exes certainly fit that description. Serena Williams, Erika Badu, Tara G. P. Henson, and others have been linked to him, earning him the Playboy label. Rumors suggest that Common is considering a serious commitment with Jennifer, possibly even marriage. However, Jennifer is cautious about settling down with him, given his questionable past. An insider revealed that after her engagement ended, Jennifer was firm in her decision never to marry, believing it wasn't in her future. But then Common came into her life and changed her perspective. Despite his history with other famous women, Common is reportedly committed to their relationship. However, Jennifer is wary, having been in a long engagement before and not wanting to end up in another failed marriage. Her hesitation is understandable, especially considering her past with her ex-fiancé, David Otonga. Their romance began in 2007, and it quickly became serious as they fell deeply in love with each other. Less than a year later, on Jennifer's 27th birthday in September 2008, David proposed on one knee, and she said yes. It seemed like they were destined for a happy ending. However, Tragedy struck shortly after the engagement, when Jennifer's brother-in-law committed a horrific act, taking the lives of Jennifer's mother, brother, and nephew with a firearm. David stood by Jennifer's side, offering his support during this difficult time. In the same year as their engagement, Jennifer found out she was pregnant. And in 2009, they happily welcomed their son, David Jr. Their small family appeared idyllic, but rumors of tension began to surface about their relationship. These rumors were fueled by their prolonged engagement. By 2010, they had been engaged for over two years, leading to speculation about the timing of their wedding. The speculation continued for another two years. By 2012, it had reached a peak, but both Jennifer and David maintained that their relationship was strong. David explained that their decision to postpone marriage was due to their need for closure regarding the tragic murders of Jennifer's mother, brother, and nephew. They were waiting for justice to be served. In a joint statement, they expressed relief, saying, That was something that weighed heavily on our hearts for so long, and now we finally feel like we can breathe a sigh of relief. Everything is good now. This explanation bought them more time. By 2014, it was clear that Jennifer Hudson and David Otunga's relationship was facing challenges. Despite their efforts to portray perfection, even fans began to sense that something was amiss. It became apparent that David's devotion was not as strong as previously believed. For example, his lack of public support for Jennifer and his absence during some significant moments in her life and career raised red flags. In 2017, after nine years of engagement, they could no longer maintain the facade and decided to be honest about their split. Looking back, there were signs of trouble long before Jennifer Hudson and David Otunga's breakup. Jennifer dropped hints in interviews suggesting that David might have been insecure about her job and fame. She mentioned how he wasn't thrilled about her weight loss and transformation, which should have been major warning signs. For example, during an appearance on The Jay Leno Show, she was asked about her fiancé's thoughts on her new look. Jennifer responded, He's getting adjusted to it. He's not really into change that much, so he fusses at me like, Why do you have to get all dressed up to go out? Why can't you just go out like you used to? And I'm like, I'm a walking billboard. After their split, things quickly deteriorated into a messy situation between Jennifer Hudson and David Otonga. It escalated into a full-blown showdown with legal battles, 
accusations flying, and plenty of drama that seemed to drag on endlessly. Jennifer was the first to make allegations, claiming that David had been a terrible partner and father. In court documents, she accused him of becoming aggressive and threatening, alleging mental and physical harassment. She also portrayed him as insanely jealous to the point where his suspicions about her became absurd. David, however, wasn't backing down. He retaliated with his own accusations, alleging that Jennifer had been unfaithful seeing other men. Jennifer vehemently denied this, claiming that David's jealousy had led him to allegedly use their son as a pawn, attempting to get him to spy on her. The situation took a dark turn quickly. Jennifer recalled an incident when she had their son with her in the studio, and David allegedly persuaded him to record her, convinced she was getting too close to one of her producers. She also claimed David allegedly told the boy, don't let your mom's boyfriend effin' touch you. As if that wasn't enough, things took a scarier turn when David started sending Jennifer threatening messages. These messages shook her up enough to prompt her to call for security, fearing he might show up at the studio and cause trouble. Fortunately, he did not, but the conflict did not end there. When she arrived home, he was waiting for her and another argument ensued. Allegedly, it turned physical, with him grabbing their son and dragging her around. It was a disturbing scene, to say the least. Once more, David denied the allegations, accusing Jennifer of lying to portray herself as the victim to gain sympathy. In a statement to TMZ, David's lawyer denied every allegation Hudson made against him, including the claim that he physically pushed her. The situation took a darker turn when Jennifer revealed disturbing instances such as David allegedly leaving a gun on the kitchen table, which she interpreted as a twisted mind game. This incident was particularly impactful for Jennifer, given her traumatic history with gun violence involving her family members. David's legal team claimed the gun was a harmless prop, but Jennifer insisted it was real, adding to the tension and uncertainty surrounding their tumultuous breakup. With tensions high and disturbing allegations on both sides, the aftermath of Jennifer and David's split was nothing short of a nightmare, leaving both parties and the public reeling from the shockwaves of their tumultuous relationship. David also claimed that Jennifer was telling these stories to gain pity and paint him as an unfit parent so that she could get custody of their son. His lawyer stated that he has never abused or harassed Miss Hudson or their son. The lawyer added that David had been trying to negotiate the terms of an amicable parenting agreement with Jennifer for several weeks and said the actress and singer were trying to gain an unfair advantage in the custody dispute by filing her order. David looks forward to his day in court and being awarded the residential care of the party's only child. It makes sense why Jennifer was hesitant to make things official, with comments like, once bitten, twice shy. She wasn't going to make the same mistake again, and it seems like she might have been right to turn Common down. According to an insider close to Tiffany Haddish, Common has allegedly been in her DMs begging her to take him back because he knows he is about to be single. Fans are convinced that Jennifer made the right decision by rejecting Common, with comments suggesting she should keep her guard up and her eyes open when it comes to him. Given that it's 2024, who knows what else might come out or happen?